Hello, micromanagement tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri with me, Blue Ankylo. Now, we're at the point in the game where, to really be efficient, I'd have to start spending a lot of time every turn going through cities, rearranging where people are working just for maximum efficiency. Um, if I really want to play smart, um, focusing more on where my troops are. I know I've got a lot of unupgraded troops now. All these old 411s and stuff, which are kind of obsolete. Although I am making a lot of money. Uh, where's the button? Ah, there we go. I am making 103 energy per turn, so I could probably afford to upgrade these guys fairly quickly. Let's just see. How long would it take? To, how much money would it take to upgrade some of these guys? Um, I do have a point I'm trying to get to in a second here. Though. Um, if I can even remember how to do this. I think it was action, wasn't it? Action, upgrade, there we go, there we go. So it would cost 140 each for the 411 guys. That's over one turn. I mean, I could do that, but it's kind of expensive. Anyway, I, I don't know, I'll see about that. Um, I should be, you know, replacing the army though or something. Maybe just deleting them so that the supply can go back to producing proper units or something. We do train new troops pretty quick. Anyway, uh, my point is, for this episode and future ones, I will probably be putting cuts in the video where I run around various cities, uh, if I feel like it, um, to change stuff. Now, I noticed last episode I got a little bit lazy on the cruisers, so that'll be the first thing I'm going to do today. I'll do a quick overview of our civilization, or <laughs> our faction, um, before I do that. But I am going to go through all these bases and rearrange the chaos cruisers. You'll see why in a minute. So we've got two years to the next tech, and I'm I'm expecting good things. Uh, money situation, uh, you can see most of my bases, uh, about half of them are producing buildings and half are producing troops, which is probably fair. But I want to just double check that there's no more buildings to make, like, you know, some place like here could build. Let's see, is there anything good, for instance, just so you guys know? Um, hab complexes, yeah, I should have more hab complexes that I've forgotten about. And perhaps some pressure domes, you know, just in case we have flooding. You never know. It is at size 9. It should already have a pressure dome. Or, sorry, it should already have a hab complex. So, that was my bad. I, I gotta go double check that kind of stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Finish secret projects. No one's building anything. No satellites yet. Um, you can actually see how many troops I have. So, I've got 14 formers. I actually probably have less than one per base right now. Uh, was there anywhere that said how many bases I had? could count them here I suppose um, I think that's more than 14 probably anyway the point is I, sh I have to imagine I know in in civilization a common rule of thumb is one worker per city or sometimes even two workers per city so I'm probably a little bit low on that but I've been taking advantage of that secret project that lets us build uh, upgrade terraforming twice as fast I've got some old junk units for sure but the one I think I noticed this I was double checking before I started um, I've got 20, almost 26, well, it depends on how many I let finish, but I have at least 20 cruisers guarding the seas, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think the naval danger is over, and uh, I can focus on land forces a little bit more for now. That, that's my thinking, anyway. And is there anything else in the list? That's my current score. Lots of points from secret projects. So anyway, um, like I said last couple episodes, I certainly could be building new bases, and if I wanted to do the ultimate point score type victory, I'm sure I would expand over the whole world and take over every single enemy settlement. That's not really how we've been playing though. We're Prokor Zakrov and we're in it for the research. So far, all we've done is defended ourselves against enemy attacks. We've actually never started an invasion just to, just for some petty old fashioned reason basically. So, um, I was thinking I might end up fighting Deirdre before the end of the game just because she really ticked us off. But uh, I doubt that I'll be doing a land invasion of the Spartans or... Well, we'll see how the, the Peacekeepers do. If they get too powerful, we'll have to t take them down a peg. You know, if they're rushing to victory or something. But um, that's not my plan. My plan is to, to research. We're researchers, guys. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put a small cut here, and I'm going to go through all my cities, and I'll tell you maybe an overview of what I've changed once I come back. So I'll see you guys shortly. Alright, folks, so I've went through most of the cities. I haven't worried about just every single placement of every worker, but I've tried to optimize it a little bit here and there, sort of where I noticed a problem. 
And I've turned off most of our unit recruiting because I want to just focus on building for now. Um, I'm still missing buildings in basically every city. Some of them are missing a lot of big things. Oh, I missed this one. Uh, is this one missing anything? See, like I was saying, most places at least missing a pressure dome. Um, I'm assuming the aerospace complex would be nice in a couple cities to uh, to, to really focus on um, the air power later on. Uh, for now, I'm not too worried, but it'll be nice to have around. And this place, whatever, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, I do need more formers, so I'm thinking about building a few more of those. Unfortunately, this base already has five more cruisers than it can support, so it's starting to actually... Uh, Affect it. I mean, it's got 29 by base, but 29 by default, but minus 5 from all the cruisers. Um, I might queue up some formers and then rebase them to uh, one of the frontier villas, basically. Like, uh, I need much more terraforming done up around this area and this area, so I'll send them up there and maybe rebase them. Anyway, enough rambling, let's get to the game. Looks like I didn't notice that. Production complete. Looks like we won you on the defense. You are orphans, Erzdidre. Your homeward already buried, so young among the elons. Yet, now you fill the skies where we watched a million sunsets with flame and contrails, paying no heed to the hard lessons the universe has tried to teach you. Are you a breath of life to invigorate a complacent world, you as humans? or an insidious cancer which must be excised. Lady Deidre Sky, Conversations with Planet. Oh, so that was supposed to be from the perspective of the planet. Yikes, we're starting to get some deep quote quotes now. Anyway, um, we've built our first aerospace place, so this would be a nice place to build uh, needle jets and that kind of stuff if I choose. I haven't actually shown those off yet, so I will at some point. Um, I suppose this is a good place for pressure dome. I did try to make sure the vastly coastal places, and especially anywhere that has, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, any secret projects. I tried to make sure I queued up pressure domes just in case we were to lose a secret project, which would not be so nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's fine. This place actually looks like it should be able to make some formers too. It's kind of low on uh, uh, force the support limit. So... Um, there you go, that place is coming along. I actually need Production a few sea complete. formers. So maybe I should change my plan there. I need I need some more work on the ocean with my new ocean bases. Um, but I imagine this place needs... Actually, it doesn't need much. We'll go pressure dome, and then we'll queue up a couple sea formers here. Because it actually isn't supporting anything. Although I have a feeling I might have deleted them by accident. So let's quickly go Production to the design complete. page. Um, and I must have accidentally gotten rid of this. So we want... Probably the four foil. What's the what's the difference? If I put a terraforming, it costs forty like that. If I make it faster, it costs sixty. But it already comes with the plus two movement, I think. So I might as well just go like this, and it'll get the same speed, and I can produce it quick. Also, one thing that I didn't notice. Someone mentioned in the comments. Thank you. It's actually cheaper to put fusion reactors on your units than it is to have fission. It actually decreases, so it makes them stronger and cheaper. There's absolutely no reason for any of our units to have fission. So that was my bad. I did not notice that. So there you go. Cheaper stuff. Apply. And uh, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's only costing 30. That's pretty cheap. Let's see. Um, C fusion C formers. So it still takes two turns here, but that's pretty quick. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, did I ever, I probably reverted my, um, my, uh, what's it called? My normal formers? Back to fission. Yeah, I really should have uh, done that. Because it makes them cheaper. Can I upgrade Cannot like execute that? order. We have no prototypes. Oh, uh, was it like that? Then I upgrade. Cannot them. execute order. Hmm. There's got to be a way to do this to sort of upgrade all of them. Not like it's going to make much difference, but, uh, like if I wanted to upgrade them all to fungicide, apply that. All future formers to the farmers. Well, I don't know if it's that big a deal. What I really want is the no support cost one, and I still haven't found that tech. So whatever. Let's just let's just get on with the game for now. But I do uh, at some point would like that clean. I thought you could get it earlier, but uh, it's definitely coming later on than I thought. 
So we've got forests, we're clearing out fungus. That's the general plan for most of these these uh, these formers, is just trying to upgrade these tiles a little bit better. Terraform complete. That was fast. Um, continue up that way. Terraform complete. We've got some fusion shock troops. I must have moved those up last time. Fusion speeder that I just finished building. Let's leave it up kind of on the border with Deirdre. I don't know if she'll attack us again. It's possible, but uh, I would be surprised a little bit, you know? I'm thinking of taking a couple of uh, the Believer's ocean bases from them, just just because. So uh, let's plan on taking a couple of... Whoa, a lot of movement going on here, guys. <laughs> I, could have atta I could attack that base too, now that I'm thinking about it. That may have been my original plan, actually. Indigenous life. Oh, uh, let's fight the Isle of the Deep, see how we do here. Uh, nope, no luck. Those things are still just deadly. Bot recovered. Hey, we got an artifact! Woohoo! And... Is it uh, on the board? Cannot execute order. How does this work? So is an artifact... Can artifacts swim? I think it's on the transport. Maybe... Is that the case that if you send a transport to pick up sea, uh, sea supply pods at sea, you can get artifacts? Because that would be very cool. I've actually got a rover and an artifact on this Isle of the Deep. That's interesting. It can carry five units. You can see cargo, two out of five. That's definitely interesting. I did not know about that. So maybe uh, we would have been smarter. Indigenous life oh, no, no. That's not the time. There's an artifact on there, guys. What am I thinking? I should get that back to base for the free tech. <laughs> uh, Blue Ankylo making silly mistakes. Okay, this guy's a little bit damaged. Let's send him uh, to defend and heal up. This guy has got a mind worm on it to go not recovered. activate some fungal bloom. Why not? I also learned if you tap space, uh, it's... Sorry, where is it? N, not N turn. It's action... Skip turn. So that's very handy, actually. I should have... Uh, Learned that a long time ago, just for easier movement of troops. Mysterious monolith, investigate. It's gotten upgraded. It's an imper superior boil. Bot recovered. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Definitely got the uh, the monopoly on all the supplies. Uh, definitely got most of the supplies from this game. I think it's pretty safe to say. Oh, my helicopter! Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going to blow up pretty soon. What, what could you do? Is there anything? Go do a flyby of uh, the hive. This was uh, probably um, the capital city of... Uh, of Turn uh, complete. Well, he blew up. <laughs> the old capital city of the, of the faction, um, the hive, whatever they're called. You know, with Yang and all them. Oh, is that it? They, uh... Oh, they're trying to go home now. I don't think you're going to make it, guys. It just doesn't feel like it. All right, Planetary Council, uh, Salvage Unity Fusion Core. That could be useful. Plus 500 for everyone. Well, sure. I mean, it helps them out, but it helps us out too. And at this point, there's no way it's not going to happen. <laughs> Three to one. So even if I vote nay, whatever. I'll take the 500 credit. Stop! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's, there's, there's action going on over there. <laughs> All right, Miriam, what do you want? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're a force to be reckoned with, blah, blah, blah. She's mad at CEO Morgan. You know what? We're buddies with him. Last time I remember allying with him, basically. So, yeah, we are allied. Get out of here. It's time to reconsider your earlier arrogance. Give me the fusion. <laughs> says, trade me your data on fusion power. All she wants is the free tech for, for nothing, basically. Do your worst, Miriam. Bring it on. She's going to attack this city, I can see it. Yeah, I'm a wretched unbeliever, blah, blah, blah. Fight! Good job, boat. Fight! Good job. Isle of the Deep. It's now a great boil. <laughs> Combat report. That's somebody else. Deer just fighting over there. I have often been asked, if we have travel between the stars, why can we not launch the simplest of orbital probes? 
These fools fail to understand the difficulty of finding the appropriate materials on this planet, of developing adequate power supplies, and creating the infrastructure necessary to support such an effort. In short, we have struggled under the limitations of a colonial society on a virgin planet, until now. Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. That sounds useful. Missiles and uh, planet busters and uh, sky hydroponic labs. So what should we research now? Soil enrichers, neural amplifier. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's go for... It's actually Conquer 4. That's old tech. But maybe I need it to unlock new Production stuff. Production complete. What? Drone riots? Are you guys still messing around? You know what might have happened? I might have accidentally clicked one of them and told them to uh, work a tile rather than uh, be an empath like that. Oops. Oh, well. Hopefully they'll get back to work. Drone riots. Oh, I probably did the same thing here. Either more police is necessary or better buildings. I don't know. Fusion Lab's not going to help much. Anyway, the population's big enough. You guys can just, you know, keep people happy. That's that'll do. Got, I think my last uh, Chaos Cruiser I was building. Looks like the fighting's going to happen over there, so that'll do. Kill fungus, build forests. Hmm. Let's build... Let's see. Where, sh where do I really need the formers? Probably over this way, really. Oh, another another cruiser. I guess I built quite a few. <laughs> All right. So what the heck? Chaos needle jet from the Spartans. Eight one one with the double health. I guess we need to start thinking about that anti-aircraft stuff if they're going to have needle jets. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to do too much. Like, where are they going to base them now? I mean, if I if I sink that ship, which is. 83422, which is, you know, about the same as ours, just not as fast. Huh. Well, I don't know. Let's just attack it. Pretty good odds. Offense is better than defense. Terrible. Combat definitely Complete. takes longer now that we have all that HP. Improvement oh, already we already have exists. a force there. That'll teach me. Send up another uh, cruiser or whatever you call these things. Speeders. Whoa, movement everywhere, guys. Might be something over there. You never know. Once I'm done scouting, I'll probably just start sending all my ships up towards Spartan territory. To be honest, that's probably the most important thing. Oh, this helicopter. You know what? Uh, disband. You're never going to make it home. You just blow up. Activate. That's... I could have self-destructed. That would have been fun. Oh, continue on this way. You guys... I guess you can go explore up there. I'm not really going to attack those bases right now. Do I dare try to pick up... You know what? This guy should just go back to our bases and try to connect that alien artifact. Turn complete. Because, uh... That's a free tech. That's a free tech. You go for the... Turn let let the ships go for the supply pods. And, uh... Yeah, that'll be smart. So what do we got here? She landed some Gatling batteries off of her supply ship. That's not really that strong. Uh, let's just take one of our ships and go sink something. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, Turn that, that will cover it. And I can probably even uh, bombard them from far. Turn complete. Well, I can try. Bombard. There you go. Turn complete. So it took a little bit of damage. Just a little bit, you know. Rub, rub salt in her nose, basically. Now, hopefully those needle de jets don't do something horrible to us, but uh, I'm not really in any position to, f to attack them at this moment, so... Yeah, they went home. I thought so. Forests are good. Forests are good. Yeah, everyone's got needle jets. I guess it is. It's time. It's time for air superiority, too. I just want to build... I just want to build stuff and research. Everyone's forcing me to tech up. Or to uh, get better troops and stuff. Does this place need a pressure dome? Yeah, maybe eventually, but for now it's probably fine. Let's uh, let's go with a couple more farmers. Should I go with a couple more farmers? 
fusions. Let's go for a couple C formers, like I was saying before. I want Maximum a couple more. Population ones. reached. Terraform complete. Terraform, terraform. Fire. And fire. Okay. I don't think I can actually sink it. Or well, Oh, you can destroy it. See, I I thought you couldn't actually destroy stuff with land targets via bombarding, but looks like it works just fine. Okay, you guys continue up. This is where I'm going to need more ships for sure. You continue exploring. Oof. Lots of movement going on with all those ships, guys. It's kind of crazy. You've got mind worms to drop off. Discipline. Oh, more mind worms. That's all we ever get. Uh, I guess you could help out. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Cannot execute order. Oh, there's nobody on this one? Right, never mind. That was Turn nice complete. Time. Okay, um, looking alright. I'm glad I built all those ships, because certainly we're going to be defending our borders now with all these guys. Hopefully I built enough, but uh, I can always turn my cities back if I need to, back to uh, production mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miriam, you're just not that strong. I love the auto-expanding forests and kelp. Production it's complete. doing a good job. Indigenous oh, life whatever. Forms. Just attack the mind worms. There you go. Failed the capture attempt, but we got 50 credits for it. So it's not a bad. It's, it's not a loss. Indigenous life forms. There's just indigenous life forms everywhere. Let's, uh, let's... You know what? I have, like, one ship guard there. That might be smart. Oh, are you still building more? I thought I told you to build other stuff. I must have accidentally cancelled it or something. This place is... I'm sure I told it to build a hab complex or something. Maybe a pressure dome. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't this my capital? Yeah. I don't want this place to uh, sink into the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> we don't want any Atlantis here. So... Pressure dome and then have a complex and uh, that should work. I must have just messed up. I, th I thought I did that base already. Anyway, a couple more uh, cruisers is not going to hurt. So up you go. Terraform complete. Good, you terraform the place, guys. Kill that fungus. Build me forests. Forests everywhere. Uh, yes. Continue with the forest station. You need to rest up. Uh, you're 5% damaged. Ah, you know what? You should kill this guy. You'll be fine. 171 to 3. Yeah. Any surprise there? Nobody surprised? Let's see what she's got in this base. She's got a probe that's useless against us and a plasma garrison. Not that dangerous. Pretty good odds, I would say. Come there you go. I will keep my units healed up, though. Indigenous oh, life force. Of course! Of course there would be Isles of the Deep in the way. Well, they're not as bad as they used to be. Remember the days when they actually sunk our ships regularly? Seems like we're getting better. Okay, you're gonna rest up. Did you build your force that quickly? Yeah, good job. So how is that tile anyway? 323. Three. I think that's worth working. That's a nice tile. I definitely was thinking about it. The newer Civilization games, like Civ 5, which is the new one for me at this point in history, <laughs> is. Um, Invalid Terraform Command. Oh, I can't actually build farms or forests or anything. The value of tiles you work is so much lower in the new games. Like, in this one, you can get nice high yields, like those six mineral tiles if you have. Uh, Indigenous um, life forms. The boreholes and stuff. The new games, yeah, you're lucky to get three ever, basically. It's kind of a shame. Ouch! Well, sometimes the mind worms still win. So I think I wanted to have this guy kind of guarding there, you know. And this one was supposed to heal. Turn complete. Yeah, I just want one so I can see if the peacekeepers are sending ships my way, basically. That was what I was hoping for. Let me do a couple more turns probably take that base. Does she have any more naval bases? I think most of those are on land. I can take uh, Port Grace. Might be a, a nice place to defend against the Spartans actually. Kind of an advanced uh, 
in the way kind of place. Same with this one. If we own this base, then we can just defend those two spots. Um, and if we need to, we can launch invasions sort of from there. It seems like a good idea. I imagine the AI will generally attack your closest base rather than sailing all the way in and up a river or something like that. Kelp. All right. Sunspot activity. Uh, no comm links for 20 turns. Aww. Nobody's going to be able to spy on us or talk to us. As when if beholding the tranquil beauty and brilliancy of the ocean's skin, one forgets the tiger heart that pants beneath it, and would not willingly remember that this velvet paw but conceals a remorseless fang. Herman Melville, Moby Dick, Data Links. <laughs> yep, that's a good old quote. Uh, have you guys read Moby Dick? It's a good old book. Um, had to read it in school when I was back there, in high school or something. Um, anyway, uh, this is one of those places I queued up a lot, so we're not really, really Production involved. complete. Uh, Fusion Lab. I love Fusion. Fusion all the time. Um, what else do we need in the cool science jungle place? Pressure Dome. Is it actually on the coast? It's not really on the coast, I don't think. Um, I suppose it's basically done then. I'll go with uh, aerospace. And I, I do know, I uh, certainly understand, that I could be building supply crawlers all over the place and using them to for more micromanagey goodness. I'm just trying to avoid some of that for this Let's Play, just because I spend so much time on these menus anyway. If I was really doing supply crawlers, it would be even worse. So I'll just queue up a couple more formers and that'll do. Production complete. Hab complex, good. Grow my cities. Uh, I think we'll go for the the recruiting morale upgrades. Might as well have them. And uh, oh, the pressure dome actually, that'd be smart. This place is certainly on the coast, so we'll queue all that up. Should keep it busy for a little while. Although it does produce pretty quick. Production complete. Excellent. Fungus Terraform forest complete. Healing, healing. Helping to take a new base. I uh, don't think they managed to create any new units. So, we seized, we seized, he walked on water. And uh, I've had, I've been planning on this one for a little bit. I'm going to rename this place, he sank. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that'll do. And we'll rebase and guard. And we'll rebase and guard. And hopefully two ships is enough for now. So what have we got here? Is there anything guarding this one? Uh, that's Morgan troops. He should be okay. Just the one. <laughs> I have bad news for you, Marion. I don't think you're going to have your sea bases today. Can you make it? We made it! We stole some more of our energy. And Port Grace. I don't know. What should I rename that? Someone suggested uh, naming some settlements after... Um, some subscribers or uh, commenters, people who've watched the videos. If you'd like to be considered for city names, uh, feel free to leave some. You know, uh, I haven't really worried about it too much this game, but uh, go ahead. I'm happy to put subs in here if you have a name for me. And Port Grace will be called Port uh, <laughs> Research. I don't know. It's kind of lame, but we're trying to fix the the cities we take over. It's not a very good base. I, I almost should just try to raise it, but. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's just change it to something slightly useful, the production that is. Um, probably the rec commons first, and I don't know if they'll ever finish anything here, but we'll go children's crash, and uh, if they ever get that far, they can make biology and trees and you know all the, all the normal stuff if they ever get there. I don't have very high hopes, let's just say. High hopes, high hopes. Okay, forests. Already built your forest. This place is starting to look better. Sea formers, good. Um, I need you down here. And you can help forest it up. Okay, um, you, you're already healed up. You're totally fine. So you have to kill this guy to continue to get that supply bar, though. Because there's a zone of control for land units. And I, I do know now that uh, it's only land units. <laughs> C units can just uh, bypass life form. the control type stuff. Can you get on? Excellent. That'll save a little bit. And 
can you can't get off. You can only board once. You can't like board and get off at the same time. Oh look! The peacekeepers! They have they have transports! What should we do with them? <laughs> Goodbye, peacekeepers. You're gonna guard here. I think I can see I'll be able to see anyone that tries to sneak through this uh this zone. Uh more peacekeepers? Or no, Spartans. Oh, and they even have a Gatling rover on it. Sorry, guys. All your base are belong to Combat us. Report. Uh, Deirdre can she can she can be Turn peaceful. Turn complete. For now. All right, that was nice. My cruisers are paying for themselves now by sinking the ships, the enemy ships. That's the way we like it. Okay, let's take out these guys. Move them forward. Turn complete. I don't need so many defenders back here now that I'm sort of Turn stealing complete. forward bases. Got one there. That's not very well defended. That's not good. This is quite strongly defended. Although this is probably where the peacekeepers will come at me. Maybe this side. So I should still keep a couple ships down here if I was smart. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Look at this, uh, this chart. It says we are dominating. <laughs> <laughs> our our white color is going up through the roof and I think that has a lot to do with our population because we're beating the hab complex limit and I'm not sure if anyone else has really gotten there yet most other people's well yeah you know the peacekeepers have a size 10 size 11 so they're they're kind of our threat now um, but I don't know how good they are at military because they've only sent a couple transports the Spartans have been much more efficient at actually sneaking ships in and getting a couple cities but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot to uh, change the construction here. Uh, Rex, Rex Commons, Children's Crush. Can't forget this, guys. Network nodes. She didn't even have network nodes. Silly, silly, Miriam. You must build networks. How will you ever... Uh, fusion. We always want fusion. How will you learn stuff without, without network nodes? You have to connect your cities up. Free flow of knowledge, girl. Free flow. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.